in this video, I am going to show you guys how to get this look that I am wearing right now. It's very cool toned, it's very purple and lavender based, it's very interesting, it's, it's almost monochromatic, but it does pull just a lot of cool purple tones. I really, really liked it and thought it was gonna be something different. If you guys are interested, just keep on watching to find out how to get this look. Okay guys, so I'm starting by prepping my face with the NYX Q10 Renew Skin Elixir. I do like this because it moisturizes your face, but it also leaves a tacky base for everything to stick to. Then I'm going in with the L'Oreal Magic Lumi Light Infusing Primer. Now I do only use this on the areas of my face that I want highlighted, quite frankly, because I just don't want to glow all over. And this is, in my opinion, more of a liquid highlighter than a primer. Then I'm going to go in with the NYX Pore Filler and just put it on the areas where I need to basically fill in my pores. Then we are going to get into the eyes. So I am using the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Dark Circle Eraser in the color Neutralizer. I tend to use this a lot as my eye primer and I'm just blending it out with a beauty blender and then setting it with the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. And then we're going to go in with the star of the show. This is the Too Faced Sugar Pop Palette. We're going to take that peach fuzz, that peachy shade on the bottom uh, left corner, and that is going to be our transition shade. So we're just going to put that all above our crease. And then we're going to go in with Rock Candy, which is that shimmery white shade, and that we're going to start on the brow bone and then blend it down into that peach fuzz shade. Next, we're gonna take a flat shader brush and go in with this light purple, which is strawberry ice, and put that all over the lid. Then we're gonna go in with blackberry, which is a dark matte purple, and we're almost just tracing our crease or creating a faux cut crease. We're not really doing a cut crease, so you can be a little bit sloppy with it. We are just going to end up blending it out. It's just easy to just follow your natural crease line to do this. And I'm just taking a Sigma pencil brush and then blending it out with a crown uh, crease brush. Next, we're going to go in to the shade, which is right next to Blackberry, which is Sugared Violet. We're gonna trace right over what we did with Blackberry with Sugared Violet. So basically just retrace your crease and then blend that out. And that is just going to give you a little bit of depth and dimension to this look. And I'm sorry guys if you hear my air conditioner in the background. In Pennsylvania, it decided to go from 50 degrees to 90 degrees in a matter of a day. No one, I don't think in the state was prepared for it, so we're all dying. So I do apologize if you hear the noise in the background, but it is just too hot here. Then going into the Urban Decay Shadow Box palette, we're gonna use that really bright purple color on the bottom, which is called Flash, and we're going to layer that over the strawberry ice all over the lid. I am using a packing brush, a flat brush from Sigma to put this on. And then we're going to go in with Bordello, and I'm just going to pop that right into the inner corner of my eye just to brighten up the inner corner a little bit. And then we're going into the shade Tornado, which is right next to Bordello, and just tracing my outer V with that and blending it in. Then we're going to go in with this Ulta Pure Pigment Pigment. It is in purple, a beautiful, beautiful purple. It's called Wildflower. And we are just going to tap that all over the lid. Then we're going to go back into the Too Faced palette, back into Sugared Violet, and just blend out our uh, outer corner again, and then just blend the eye all together. And as you guys will see in a second, you will know why I did my eyes first, because there is a tremendous amount of fallout with these shadows, which is very apparent on my face right now. So we're going to take a wet wipe 
and we are just going to clean that fallout off. And I am also going to drag it along the ends of my eyes and create the crease that I want. This is also another reason why I love doing my eyes first because it is so easy, especially if you're someone that's just a beginner and you can just go on and put your foundation on and no one would ever know. But now we are going to get in the face. So I am going to highlight once again using that Maybelline concealer. and then spot conceal using the NYX Dark Circle Concealer. This one in particular is in Fair. I do not like using this for under eyes, which is what it's actually created for, for your dark circles. I think it's too thick, but I do think this is a perfect formula to spot conceal any blemishes, dark marks, anything like that. It just blends out perfectly. It has a lot of coverage in it, and I just really enjoy it for spot concealing. For foundation, I'm using the Clinique Even Better Foundation. I did get this as a sample in Sephora, so this is a sample size. I am in 05 Neutral, and I think that is the perfect shade for me. I know a lot of people have been talking about it in the beauty community on YouTube, and it's for good reason. It's because it is a really, really nice foundation. So I'm going to take that nice light purple strawberry ice palette shade from the Too Faced palette and just do my entire waterline and then do the outer corner of my uh, waterline with that blackberry shade. Liquid liner I have to do off camera or else we'd be here for forever, but liquid liner is done. I use the Wet n Wild Pro Line Felt Tip Liner. Adding a pop of color to the waterline, I'm using the Revlon Photo Ready Kajal Pencil and that is in the color Matte Lemon. And it just gives you a really nice, very pigmented pop of color. Now I'm just going in with the other end of that uh, liner pencil and I am just dipping into any black eyeshadow and just kind of smudging my corner of my waterline into the liquid liner so it looks like it's one piece. Now for the mascara, I use these two all the time. They are my tried and trues. They are both from Ulta. The red one is the one I always use first. It is the Legendary Lynx Mascara. Then I go in with the darker one, which is the Ulta Amped Up Lashes. And I think they just give you the perfect mixture of length and volume. After that, I'm going to start contouring using the IT Cosmetics My Sculpted Face. This is the first one that came out, not the new one. I'm going to use that white shade to just go over everywhere I highlighted. And I'm going to use that contour shade that's right under the white powder to do my contour and just blend it all out with my e.l.f. Small Tapered Brush. You guys know I love that brush. Next, I'm going in with my bronzer and I'm using the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer just over everywhere I contour just to add some warmth to my face. Then I'm going in with the highlight shade that is in the It Cosmetics palette and just going over where I put the L'Oreal Lumi Light Infusing Primer and just to add a nice little highlight and just blending it all together. Finally, we are going in with the thing that made me think of doing this tutorial. This is the ColourPop Lip Pencil and Ultra Satin Liquid Lipstick in the color Marshmallow. And as you can see, it is this very unique, beautiful, uh, like grayish lavender color. And this is actually the color that made me think of doing this, this look. So I wanted to create something to go with that lip because it is such a unique color. So that's how I thought of this whole thing. But this is really the star of the show. And after you get your lip on, uh, just set your face with some setting spray or MAC Fix Plus, and that is it, guys. You are done. And 
that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. As always, any questions, comments, you guys know where to leave them. And if you like what I bring to YouTube every week, you can always just like and hit that subscribe button. I love you guys and I'll see you later.